and this layer will not show in the end. Now I have some paint down already. That was a mistake, actually. I had put white gesso with some yellow ochre and I actually did paint that. But I decided to change the, the layer that I want um, colored a different color. I want it toned a mid-gray. That's And I suggest for you also to create your um, background in a mid-tone gray, which is easily made by mixing gesso with a few drops of black acrylic paint. Now I'm going to use soft chalk pastels. And this gives a really nice effect of a soft colored background. And please, throughout the process, keep using colors that are calming to you. Could be your favorite colors and or just colors that are calming and peaceful to you. I'm using a lot of greens, blues, and purples, and I find that gray is also a calming color. Next thing, find peaceful images. They could be magazine pictures, things that you draw, um, stencils or stamps. So I have quite a collection of stencils and I'm using some new mandala stencils that I got because I find mandalas are peaceful. But like I said, if you don't have many stencils, stamping would be good or drawing different images in the background that are peaceful to you, like maybe autumn leaves, flowers, other symbols that might be peaceful to you. Instead of a stencil brush, I am using a makeup sponge, which works very well with stencils. For the focal image, I've used an older drawing I did from a previous art journal and cut it out. So for your focal image, you might want to go through some art journals and um, do something like that or use magazine photos or print photos out on your printer from copyright-free website like pixabay.com where you can get copyright-free images. You might want to start a new drawing um, right on your art journal or maybe on a separate white paper and then cut it out and glue it on the way I have done. You might also consider collage papers to create something for your focal point. And I'm continuing using colors that I've already been, use, been using in the background and picking them up and coloring my focal point with some of these same colors that have been used throughout the design.
And again, because you're working in your art journal, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. It, it, this is not going to be hanging on a wall. You are just doing the best you can and trying to stay in a peaceful state of mind, taking your time, taking deep breaths when you need to, and stepping away when you feel stuck or frustrated. Just step back and take a break and then come back to it. Now the last step is adding words or sentiments. And sentiments are just like sentences or a grouping of words that go together like a sentence. But I will be using different words. Oh, before I do that, I am gluing down my focal point. I'm using wax paper here, and I did use a glue stick, but you could have also used matte gel medium. And a lot of people use a, a credit card, but I actually am using a, some type of scraper. And it's a really good way to make the item adhere very well. These are Tombow water soluble markers. So I don't want that bright white right there. So I go over it with a water soluble Tombow marker and we'll activate it a little bit with just a little bit of water and wipe it away where it got too strong and dark. So now this is the final layer of adding words. They could be cut out words from magazines or stenciled words or words that you might have already. Like some people have the Tim Holtz pad of uh, paper pad of different kinds of words and they already have adhesive on them. All different ways to add words at this time or just a whole complete sentiment. After I did add some words, I went ahead and decided um, I needed some more things in the composition. I wanted to add some more natural elements. I thought birds were really nice touch now, adding a few birds because um, this, I am doing a theme of nature, nature, peace, and um, medi meditation.
Now around the focal image, I am darkening it up. It kind of will make it look like it's not just glued on, that it's kind of um, integrated with the composition. And a white Posca marker to add dots, but the dots kind of are symbolizing for me stars and to symbolize things that are magical. Now, in just a minute, right here is the final image and I added blue glitter all around the um, border and I really think that tied it together, blue glitter or all around the border. And I would encourage you to think about a border design. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far, please consider subscribing and clicking like.